This is Paris as it was 300 years ago. No noise, no traffic, no smoke, just car. Peaceful. The only jarring note is the car. I don't mind the rolls, really. This is the island of Saint Louis over there. To Maggie. I know you shouldn't drink your own toes, but I can't resist it. It's all so lovely and unexpected. Uh, uh, Joseph. Joseph. You're falling down on your duties as a host. Oh, I'm sorry, monsieur. Pardon, mademoiselle. It is a good thing you came here tonight. Tomorrow, they will take the barrels away, and we will have to wait a week for the boat to bring you ones. Right. Thank you. Now, remember that when you come here with someone else. I don't think I want to come here with anyone else. Pardon, monsieur. Pardon, monsieur. I will have to make my rounds. You will have to serve yourself. Good. Uh, but please, uh, leave a little something for Josef. We won't take advantage. Oh, merci. Au revoir. <laughs> oh! It's just like the excursion boats at home. In French, we have another word for them. Bateau mouche. Excursion boats. Mar, please don't make fun of me. Only a few years ago, back in Illinois, every night when I went to bed, I'd pray that someday I'd get a job in the fashion world. Maybe even go as far away as New York. Now look where I am. Beneath the starry sky, excursion boats go by. Lovers dream the same old dream while dancing breezes sigh. Oh, Paris, lullaby. Along the river Seine, or on the coast of Maine, all those who care can also share the same. Lullaby. For love is like a carousel, and as it spins around, a girl and boy can reach the moon and never leave the ground. And so, how can we dismiss a setting such as this? What a bright and lovely night This lovely night could be If you would only share This Paris lullaby with me I think I've had a little too much Well, it's just a little red wine It's nothing very dangerous I'm just not used to it. I feel so lightheaded. I don't know what I'm doing. But you do. And so to prove romance is still the vogue in France. Before this bright moon happy night fades out of sight, Maggie, climb on the carousel and ride around the moon with me. Me? Yes. And ride around the moon with me.
nice on the moon. Yeah. Do you uh, plan to stay a while? Visit the other side, perhaps? Yeah. What do we find there? Each other. It's a nice change for a weekend. The moon is no place for a man or a woman alone. No, thank you. It's back to Earth, then? I don't know what ever gave me the idea that I'd even consider such a thing with you or with anybody else. Maggie, Maggie, why did you follow me around all night, then? Follow you? From cafe to cafe to cafe. Just happened to be a coincidence. Oh, really? Are you calling me a liar? No, a liar fools other people. You fool yourself. Do you know what you really want, Maggie? You want a thrilling evening of almosts. Yes, almost romance, almost love, almost sex. Maggie, I told you Paris would give you whatever you were looking for. You've got it. And you've put me in the position of a guide. Very well, very well. I hope I've given you a uh, proper service, Miss Scott. Now that we've shown you our best imitation of romance, what would you like to see next? The Eiffel Tower, the Arts of Triumph? Oh, I know, the Wax Museum. Sex, lust, fashion, but not real, not real, Miss Scott. Just the way you like it, fake, all in wax. <laughs> 